Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered right here with all these wonderful tools. And I want to invite you to join so you have access to these tools, and it's the VIP club section right here. So we're going to get into some Major League Baseball for August the 7th, and we are post-trade uh, deadline, so some teams were buyers, some teams were sellers. Teams are looking either forward to rebuilding or to make a playoff push. So let's take a look at some of these games for August the 7th. And it's a full slate of games. The first one we want to look at is out west, Los Angeles Dodgers and San Diego Padres. Both teams come in burning hot. You can see combined the teams have won 9 out of the last 12. And if you take a look at the power ranks indicator, the Dodgers on top of the division are at plus 27, while San Diego is at plus 13. Even though San Diego is burning hot, though, they are really struggling as far as in the playoff position. And it doesn't look like they're going to have as much of a chance to get to the NL championship as they did last year. But you never know. There's still time left in the season. If we look at the pitching matchups, Tony Gonsolin is pitching for the Dodgers. And Seth Lugo is scheduled to pitch for the Padres. If we look at Gonsolin, he has minus 185 on the uh, pitcher profit oscillator with a 6-4 and four record and a 4-1-1 ERA. Uh, Lugo is coming in with a 4 and 5 record and a 3.54 ERA, but his home ERA is worse at 3.93. And he has a very poor bet at minus $598. If we take a look at the head to head matchups between the two teams this year, uh, if we go back to, let's see, 4, 5, 6. Hit point, uh, six games between the teams here. San Diego has won only one of those, and the Dodgers have won five. So the Dodgers have been total control this year between the two teams. If we look at the stability factor, how consistent are they with their favorite underdog status? You can see the Dodgers are at plus 20 and the Padres are, excuse me, the Dodgers are at plus 12 and the Padres are at plus 20. So the Padres have actually been more consistent in that regard. But nevertheless, I'm going to go with the Dodgers here on the road. I think this is going to be at least a 3-1, three-run win for the Dodgers. I'm going to go over the line on this one. The next one we want to look at is let's see down here washington philadelphia nope uh atlanta and pittsburgh here's one of atlanta and pittsburgh so atlanta is the best team in the league right now they're coming in burning hot and you can see that um if we can get rid of all this other stuff here there we go they have won five out of their last six and the pot uh, the pirates are averaged down they're just three and three over their last six and they're 12 games under 500 at the time of making this video at 48 and 60. so they're struggling but the the Braves should not overlook the Pirates because they still are a professional team. Um, on the power ranks indicator, you can see Atlanta near the top of the league as they've been all year round uh, at plus 29, while the Pirates are stable here over the last couple of days at plus 7, but a huge advantage for the Braves. Um, if we take a look at, let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. Atlanta has been much more consistent, much more stable at plus 31. The Pirates here have, have been hovering around you know, plus five, plus six mark, not down here around zero, but, you know, generally between zero and plus five, plus six, just about all year round. So they have been marginally consistent. The score predictor has, this has all Braves eight to one with confidence of 66%. I'm right along with that. I think this is a Braves win with extreme confidence, but I'm going to pass on the over under. Okay, if we look at the third one here, we want to take a look at, uh, here we go, Toronto and Cleveland. Uh, neither team is playing good ball lately. You can see here that uh, Toronto 2-4 and four over the last six, and Cleveland just 1-5. and five, And that corresponds with their ice cold down and dead status. And even if you look here at the uh, over honor, you can see that the teams that have, have been involved in games mostly under the line. There could be a good reason why they haven't been winning. They haven't been scoring runs. Um, the score predictor, though, has this as a higher scoring contest, 9-3. to three, But confidence in prediction is pretty low, not even uh, the toss of a coin. The two teams have not yet met this season, which is a little surprising since we are into August. And last year, you can see that the teams finished their series between the two um, in August, August the 12th through the 14th. Uh, just, uh, the stability factor, as we take a look at that always, Cleveland at plus 12. And they've been much more consistent than Toronto. You can see Toronto is at plus 3. And earlier in the season, if you go back to April 26th, they were as high as plus 7. So since then, they've been very inconsistent but they are playing in the tough al east where all of the teams are over 500 and they're right in the thick of it in third place in the thick of the playoff hunt cleveland in the thick of the playoff hunt as well even though they're two games uh 
They're under 500, two and a half behind in the division, which is a, it's just a very poor division. Um, in the end, I like this to be a Toronto win. They're going to get out of their offensive funk, and they're going to win this one. High-scoring game over the line. The next one is, let's see, which one? Uh, Chicago White Sox and New York Yankees. The Yankees come into play burning hot, even though they have lost three out of their last six, but they are, have won their last two, which puts it into the burning hot category right now. And the White Sox have lost their last four and going nowhere fast. If you look at the uh, over-under, the teams have been involved in games evenly over and under over the last 12. So that is uh, three and three for each. The score prediction has a pretty good confidence with the Yankees in a eight to five win. And that 13 runs would likely be an over the line. 71% is the confidence in that prediction. Head to head, look here. The teams have played, let's see, three times this year. And surprisingly or not, Chicago has won two of those three in uh, New York. I don't see that happening this time around. I like the trend, trend to turn this time, with the Yankees winning and over the line. And the last one we want to look at is a battle out west, NL West and AL West, the Giants and the Angels. You can see here on this chart here, uh, Giants come in burning hot winners of five out of the last six. Angels have lost their last three and ice cold down. Uh, not too surprisingly, uh, a little bit more surprisingly with the Giants, though, but despite winning five of the, of the last six, they have been involved in games under the line in five of the last six. So a lot of pitching battles there when the Giants are coming out on top. The score prediction has a relatively low scoring game as well, 6-1 in favor of the Giants with about the confidence of a toss of a coin of 49.7. Uh, the power ranks indicator has... The Giants have an upward trend up to plus 24. Well, you can see that Angels were at 17 back on August 1st, and they have dipped down to plus 11. Uh, stability, the two teams consistent. Uh, we can see here, not really so much. You can see right here, this was the Angels. They were at plus 10 back on, early in the season on April 29th, and now they're just sitting at plus 6. And the Giants have been right around zero or negative for most of the season. They have finally gotten the, into the positive at plus five, but they're not very consistent as well. So in the end though, this is going to be low scoring game. So if you like a lot of offense, this game is not for you. It's going to be an under the line game. And I think this is going to be the Giants to win. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the games for August the 7th. Happy betting and we will see you next time.